Picture this. You're washing the dishes while cooking dinner in the kitchen. Your heart skips a bit when your child or the kid in your life rushes towards you, uttering those dreaded words that no parent or guardian ever wants to hear. I got hacked. That is what has happened not once, but twice in my own home during the midst of the pandemic. Two of my kids fell victims to hackers while gaming online, resulting in loss of their accounts and leaving them devastated. And that's not all. My oldest son narrowly escaped a potential encounter with an online predator. These incidents are not isolated cases. Here is an alarming truth. Did you know that a staggering 12 million children in the United States alone are exposed to cyber risks? And between 2015 to 2020, 6 million children have experienced cyber threats. To make matters worse, less than half of K-12 students in the United States receive cyber-related education. As parents and guardians, we are quick to equip our children with the latest tech gadgets and connect them to the vast internet, but fail to invest the time and effort in educating them how to navigate it safely. As a cybersecurity professional myself, working at a Fortune 500 organization, and as a mother of four young children, the realization that we aren't doing enough to protect children inspired me and compelled me to write children's books and educate children on online safety and cybersecurity topics. We teach children not to talk to strangers, to look both ways before crossing the street to protect their physical well-being. We enroll them in swim lessons to keep them safe from drowning. When it comes to online safety, we often assume our kids are safe shielded from the threats of the online world as long as they are home and are behind closed doors. I mean, I thought I was doing everything right to protect my kids. But the harsh reality that hit home with my kids and the countless similar stories shared on various social media parenting groups, we are failing our children in the digital world. We resort to controls, screen time restrictions, and limiting internet access in order to protect kids online. I know I'm guilty of this, but instead of solely focusing on fear or restriction, we must empower our children. Empowering through education on cyber safety, online security, and privacy is the secret to protecting our children against cyber threats. Children oversharing personal information online can negatively impact a child. They may not understand the risks they expose themselves to when they trust others and share information such as their home address, their location, their school names, or passwords. One of my daughter, driven by her peer trust, shared her password to an online gaming friend who promised to add more digital currency to her gaming account. Little did she know, this seemingly harmless request from a friend is a deceitful plan to seize control of her entire gaming account. Now, think about this. If this can happen in the realm of gaming, what could occur if this password were to unlock something more significant? Do children truly understand the true nature of individuals that they encounter online? With the advancement of new technology, evolution of artificial intelligence or AI, and now with a more accessible use of chatbots such as ChatGPT, children feeding such personal and sensitive information to AI exposes kids to risks ranging from privacy and safety issues. We need to educate and remind children that anything shared on the internet is there to stay forever. Now, speaking of oversharing, have you ever stopped to think about the extent to which children's lives are exposed online? Did you know that by the time children reach the age of 13, 
Their pictures have been shared a shocking 1,300 times. What's truly alarming is that a significant portion of this online trail isn't as a result of a child's own social media usage. Rather, the consequence of what we adults, parents, and guardians have shared about them. It's called sharenting. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a thing. Sharenting is the act of oversharing personal information about our children online, often without fully comprehending the potential repercussions. Yet again, I'm guilty of this. Pretty much most of us are. A new study found that 68% of American parents share photos of their kids online. Think about it. Their faces, their cherished memories scattered across the vast internet without their control or consent. But it doesn't stop there. An average person in UK, by the time they turn 18, a mind-boggling 70,000 pieces of information about them are readily available and shared. It's a digital footprint that leaves them for vulnerable for exploitation, manipulation, and identity theft. As per a study from Carnegie Mellon University, kids under the age of 18 are 51 times more likely to become victims of an identity theft than their parents. And by 2030, sharenting will be the cause for two-thirds of identity fraud cases affecting children. Let that sink in for a moment. If we are not mindful of the information we share, we inadvertently become enablers of a future where their identities are at risk. With children's widespread use of social media and messaging platforms, another threat haunting our online space is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying affects 9 million children in the United States. The impact of insults, harassments, and rumors unleashed online can negatively impact a child's mental and emotional well-being. According to a study published on Journal of Medical Internet Research, young victims of cyberbullying are twice as likely to attempt suicide and self-harm. Just last year, a 15-year-old boy from Chicago took his own life after a relentless cyberbullying from his own school peers. As parents, if we are aware of the signs of cyberbullying, such as abrupt changes in behavior, or withdrawal from social activities, we will be able to proactively intervene and protect children. Online grooming poses another significant danger to children. Predators assume false identities, slowly earning the trust of children only to manipulate and exploit them. When my son was 10 years old, he made an online gaming buddy who claimed to be a 13-year-old boy. And they played games online together for some time. However, this individual began coercing my son into private video calls, isolating him from his family, and threatening to hack his family's IP address and Wi-Fi unless my son agrees to his demands. I still remember to this day how my son was confused and terrified of the situation. It was a wake-up call as a parent to guide my kids to limit interactions to known friends and family members, emphasizing that under those avatars and profile pictures, it could be anyone looking to harm them. Parents, guardians, educators, and policymakers, here is what you can do to empower children in their online journey. Parents and guardians, engage in an open and routine conversation with your children and the children in your life about their online activities, cyber risks, and online safety. Connect with them by sharing examples, children's books, telling stories, or using interactive games on how to practice good online hygiene. Lead by example. 
Be a good role model with a responsible internet use to build connection, share knowledge, and contribute meaningfully. Kindness applies online too. For schools and educators, champion for a K-12 formal cybersecurity education in schools. Invest in child-friendly resources, cybersecurity children's books, and professional development for teachers. Lastly, for policymakers, advocate for an effective regulations that protect children's online privacy and security. A world where our children confidently and safely navigate the online world, empowered with the knowledge to protect themselves, isn't just a distant dream. It can be our reality. Thank you.